Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to any new subscribers. Um, this has been a long awaited video. I have been pre prepping some surfaces to do some testing on different top coats um, uh, sealers on the tiles to see which one holds up best. Now I've done um, two in bright tone, two in Crystalac top coat, and two in Crystalac crab coat. Now a little bit about each one of these. So bright tone is what I've been using on all of my art since I started. Um, and I, I started thinking about uh, wanting to make sure that it's I'm selling the coasters um, and they can actually be used as coasters. So just going through those those steps in my head and thinking uh, I really need to make sure that, you know, when I sell these to my clients that they actually can withstand what um, I'm selling them for. So um, I had done the hot mug test before on Bright Tone, but it was literally only after maybe two or three days after I put the coats on it. So um, I wanted to redo the test after 30 days and then do some additional testing. So as you can see, I have these three glasses here. I filled them all with ice and warm water and they are sitting here just sweating away. So this mug, and it's amazing because it's still steaming and it's literally been sitting on there for probably eight minutes. I had intended on only setting it there for three minutes, um, but it's it's still steaming. So I'm going to uh, on camera and this will be like clips put together because it's gonna, otherwise it would be a very, very long video for you to wait for every one of these. Um, Cause I'm gonna do the same thing to the other two coatings um, to make sure they withstand uh, the same rigor. So. Um, a little bit about Bright Tone, as you know, uh, just been doing that. It was created to like for like guitars um, and such, and I've just always used it for my art, um, along with quite a few other people. Um, a little bit about Top Coat. I believe uh, the intent of this is like bar tops, countertops, um, that type of uh, situation where there's a little more um, activity and um, I guess movement on the surface. Um, and then there's crab coat, which was designed for like boat surfaces, wood um, outside. Um, it's designed to uh, expand and contract with the temperature changes. Um, so I did two in that um, because I have some outdoor tables that I would like to do eventually. Um, and then I also um, had a few clients that wanted me to coat some wood rounds for to decorate their garden. Um, so I have done those in, in using the crab coat, um, but I wanted to do my due diligence and see if there was one of these performed better as far as coasters or with the larger tiles, maybe a, like a trivet or a hot plate. So that's why the, the hot coffee's on there. Um, I want to make sure. So on camera, I'm going to pull this off. So as you can see, no resistance whatsoever to that. Uh, no issue with it sticking, nothing. And uh, like I said, it's been sitting on there for probably a good 10 minutes now. And I wanna inspect the surface. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any, any, uh, any defects in the surface. And then I wanted to pre-inspect this one. Um, I had previously tested this on the hot, uh, glassware coming out of the oven and it did leave a few dents but like I said that was literally like two to three days after it had been um, coated um, and bright tone is just like uh, resin in that it reaches its full cure through 30 days so obviously the hot mug test passed on here no sticking no issues so I'm going to turn the camera off put the water back in the microwave for three minutes, which is what I boiled it up for before. Um, it was quite hot. Like I said, I probably won't leave it on the full 10 minutes. Um, that was just because I was prepping some other stuff and that's how long it took me to turn the camera on. So um, I'll probably let it set for maybe five on each. I'll turn the camera on right before I lift it up. 
Uh, so again, to make sure that the video is not like super long. So um, with that said, I'm gonna turn it off and I'll see you in a few. Hi, I'm back for just a second. I have the hot mug sitting on the top coat coaster and I pulled a hot pan uh, glassware out of the oven. It was in there for 12 minutes at 450 degrees. So I set that on the bright tone trivet and I will be back when um, five minutes is up. Okay, I'm back and it's been probably close to five minutes, uh, actually more than five minutes for the mug and it is on the top coat. So I'm gonna pull that off right now and I'm not pulling it off. So this is the top coat. This is intended for bars and tops. Um, it did stick a little bit and it did Trying to see, it looks like it left a little bit of rim on the top of this. So you can see that outline of the coffee mug. Okay, so there's that one. And this has been sitting on here for probably six or seven minutes as well. Um, I'm gonna stick the cup back in the microwave and I'm gonna attempt to pull that off of there. I think the only difference between the bright tone test and the second test is um, I believe the bottom of the mug was wet, which is, is a really good part of the test that I wasn't planning on. But yeah, that's it's a good indication. Um, be curious to see uh, if that stays that way or or not. So not real impressed with the top coat. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got here. I remember when I did this after like a couple of days, it actually stuck and it was super hard to get off of it. Oh my goodness, that worked really well. I fully expected that to stick. Okay, now the real test, did it dent it or divot it? Uh, this is the one that it did before where it stuck and I do not see any new marks on here. That's a plus. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Uh, it still has two minutes to boil in the microwave and then we're going to test the top coat with the coffee mug. Um, and then I'm going to put the hot dish back in the oven for another 10 minutes or however long it takes me to test. And then I'm gonna take the two that I'm gonna test with a coffee mug for each coating, and I'm gonna put them side by side and put the dish on it. Um, that'll be after the, the hot mug test. So, um, yeah, this coaster is super cold beside these cold drinks. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll be back in a few. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I wanted you to see, uh, I know you can probably see that steam rising on that coffee mug. I don't know if you can hear it. It is literally boiling. Um, it was sizzling when I took it out of the microwave. So this will be a good test for the top coat, or not uh, for the crab coat, um, since it is supposed to, uh, you know, contract and expand. Um, and adjust to the weather. So this will be a really, really hot, hot test. I'm hoping this really works for everything and I can just switch everything to crab coat, but we shall see. I will bring you back in about five minutes when this is done and um, I'll show you uh, the results and then we'll put the, the cold cups on the other two, all right? Okay, so I've had the mug on here for probably about six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And again, this is the one with the crab coat on it. Uh, so let's do that. And again, it's stuck. I don't see that it left a mark though, which is a good sign. Yep. No mark on this one. Can't see um, a circle from the mug on this one. Um, 
still pretty smooth. So while I have the camera on, I'm going to go ahead and pull the pan out of the oven. It's been in there for almost, uh, well, probably over eight minutes, which is close enough to the tin and it was already hot. Um, so I'm really just heating it right back up. So I'm going to put that across both of these. Um, there's no mark on this one, but there is a small coffee ring on the top coat one. So we're going to put that on there. Um, and then I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to leave this on here for probably close to 10 minutes as well. Um, that's what the last one that I left on the bright tone. So I'll leave that on there for about 10 minutes. Um, so I'll be back in about 10 minutes and hopefully I don't ruin my pan. All right, see you in a few. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, so this should be the conclusion of these tests. So this um, dish has been on these two for about 12 minutes. Um, and like I said, I had it to 450 degrees. So let's see. Okay, the top coat didn't stick. And I think that one stuck because it was wet, but let me look for imperfections or dents. Set this over here. And I forgot to mention um, a few minutes ago when I uh, was videotaping, uh, taking the hot mug off and then putting the pan on, I had already placed these glasses, um, one on each uh, surface. So those have actually been sitting on each of these for, I would say close to 20 minutes. And um, they are all really, really wet. Um, you see my fingers are, are wet. So every one of these is sweating. And I'm really pleased that the water um, is just where the cup is. So I was a little concerned that it would overflow and therefore kind of null and void uh, the need for a coaster, but the water is not coming around the edges of these. It is literally just where the cup is or the glass is. Okay, so I wanted to inspect this one. I do not see any damage to this one at all. And this is the crab coat. And this is the top coat. And again, I don't see any damage to this um, other than I'm still seeing the ring from the coffee. Um, so I need to think about how I can prevent that from happening. Um, I'm gonna have to wrap my brain around that, but this really didn't stick to the pot at all. So maybe this top coat would be best for trivets, although the uh, bright tone worked really well as long as you're at a 30 day cure. Because I remember the two, two or three days, um, it left a few little marks in it um, from the dish. And it was, that was the same dish that I used. Okay, so. I will put all of my findings in the description box, so please be sure to check that out. I'll have a brief description of each test, um, as well as times and temperatures, uh, so you guys can, you know, see the full uh, detail there. So make sure you check out the description box. Um, there will also be links to each one of these products. Um, my intention for buying the crab coat is, like I said, for exterior items. Um, they're supposed to be really, really well. So um, I'm hoping, um, since I live in Ohio, I'm hoping this winter it's going to get really, really cold. Um, and it is super hot out right now. So I'm probably, I have a, um, a wood round I'm going to coat with crab coat and let it cure for 30 days. And then hopefully it's still hot here in Ohio, uh, which it typically stays hot until September-ish, um, so I should be able to get it outside. So I want to get that outside for a short time before um, winter hits, and this is probably gonna be the longest test I'm gonna have, and that is, you know, hopefully um, leave it out there the entire winter and see how it does. And then um, we'll do some um, visual checks on it uh, come spring. Okay, so this is the Bright Tone tile, and I'm gonna take the water off of it. All right, I'm gonna set that over here. And I believe this is the crab coat. Okay. 
and this one is extreme protection or uh, top coat. I'm gonna grab my towel here. I mean, other than the water making that stick, the other two didn't do that. Um, same cup. So this one is the top coat, which like I said, is made for bar tops, tabletops, uh, for indoors. So that's the top coat one. Uh, no mark. Uh, I don't see any uh, discoloration or any other um, indicators. Um, for that it looks the same as it did before I put the water on it so that's top coat so let's wipe off the crab coat um, same here no marks um, as we know the coffee cup barely stuck to it and uh, didn't leave a mark and this is the crab coat and you can see no mark uh, from the water as well which is a good thing it's awesome this is the bright tone one and unfortunately, I am sad to say that the cup actually left a dent. So I don't know if you can see that glass left a dent in there. So really strange, really, really strange. So uh, this was the ones from the hot dish and I do not see any marks on either one of these um, outside of the very, very slight, um, and it's not even a dent, it's just a visual. I'm trying to see if I can rub that out. Nope, that's the top coat one and that was from the hot mug. So you can see these and, and it's really hard to see. It wouldn't, I guess it would depend on like which color. These are really pale blah kind of colors. That's why they're test tiles. Um, but you can see um, no marks, no visual um, damage from the water, which is what I was afraid of. Um, now, what I don't know is like over time, which I would think if it protects it once, it would continue to protect it. So I'm guessing that's, um, especially for the crab coat, since its intention is for um, outdoor use. So um, that's everything here. Um, like I said, check the description box. Um, for the details and please let me know if you have any questions, um, have anything that you think um, that needs to be tested on these surfaces as well, I can do that. Um, my brain's constantly thinking of ways to test this stuff. Um, like I said, I wanna test uh, like a wood round that's painted and coated with crab coat outside. So I'll, I'll probably start that test. That's gonna be, like I said, a really long test um, so that's it for today, everybody. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and please share if there's anybody that you know that can use this information. I would greatly appreciate um, you support my channel that way. So everybody have a blessed evening and I will catch you on the next video.